starting for the Athletics today, making his 12th start. I mentioned the last 10, three or fewer runs of support. Against the Red Sox in his last start, he went six innings, got a no decision. The A's winning in that game. But it's been a long time since a win for Vin back on May the 7th. A little bit short. 3 2 pitch inside, and it's a leadoff walk. Oh, wow. Batista goes, and that ball's driven to left field. Hairston back, and it is gone. With the runner on the move, doesn't matter. Aaron Hill has now driven in eight runs in this series. 2 nothing Blue Jays. Well, the kind of unfortunate thing is that Hill had two strikes on him. Number 26. And there's that similar pitch that he hit last night, that two-seamer coming into a swing. And he crushed baseball again. Batista might have been able to score on a short wild pitch, but of course he is hot. That one hit to left field, and that's going to be over the head of Scott Hairston. Adam Lind is going to have to hustle to get to second, and he makes it with a head first dive. And that one just a bit low, and it's a four pitch walk. That one missed inside on 3 2. Line drive left center field, and that's trouble. One run scores. Two runs are going to score. They're waving home Vernon Wells. He is going to score. And it's a three run double for Alex Rios. Five nothing. Jay still nobody out. Starting to get loose. Don't need to help Ricky Romero. He's been pretty good. Encarnacion swings at the first pitch, hits it high toward the left field line. And Hairston has it for the first down. Maybe the second for Vinny. Cliff Pennington has it. A couple steps to his left, and he throws up Barajas. Two outs. One all for four. Pops this one up. Rajay Davis comes in in center field, and he's got it side retired. Five runs for the Blue Jays, two of them coming on an Aaron Hill home run. As you look at the numbers for Ricky Romero, 17 start. As he is strikeout 82, which is third among Major League rookies, and the start against the Athletics on April the 19th at Rogers Center, seven. And on three pitches, Kennedy strikes out. Rajay hitting 274 now in the season with a couple of home runs and 20 runs batted in. Be a tough play for McDonald to throw to first, not in time. Davis with an infield hit. And it's hit hard, and what a play by McDonald. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. You're going to have to watch a lot of baseball to see a better double play than this one. What Trevor Cahill talked about last night. Getting ahead, not being able to put him away. And Mazzara will be right back into the stretch as Batista a leadoff single. Off the end of the bat, Cust racing in and right. He's not going to get it. So Aaron Hill drops a single into right field. First and second, nobody out. That one grounded, and it's into right field, a base hit. Batista racing around the bag at third. He will score the throw to third, not in time. Six nothing, Blue Jays. Just a ground ball, but it just got through the right side. Get through some of these tough times, and there's one of the outs. So Overbay swings over the slider for the first down. And that one grounded. Kennedy on the backhand. He's going to come home, and the throw is in time. Suzuki blocked the play, and I don't think Hill ever got to the play. Got to finish on a positive note. Bobby Crosby, foul territory. He's got it. Side retired. A run. Hairston got back in the lineup last night. And today, he's got his first base hit. Line drive to center field. And there's the walk. Broken that little pop up, and it's going to be caught by Hill. Overbay went back. He reached up. So the A's come back and play on the 14th, and you're saying there's a football game on the 13th. With this field. Base hit right field. So Mark Ellis comes through with a two out hit. 
Bobby Crosby's going to race to third, and he will make it with a head first slide. A's are on the board. The bounce right back to Romero, who grabs it, and Pennington is retired, but Mark Ellis comes through with a two out RBI single. Third inning coming up, 6 1 Toronto. High fastball, swing and a miss, and that's. Starts. He did not give up a run the first two starts, 13 and two thirds innings. But it's definitely a learning experience for him to adjust two major league hitters. Line drive left field, and that's going to go over the head of Scott Hairston and up against the wall. Barajas will go to third, stop there. John McDonald has a double. Second and third, one out for Toronto. Infield comes halfway. Batista hits a little pop up. Left center field. Davis squares up. He's coming in. Barajas does not have a lot of speed, so he's going to bluff and go back. So Batista cannot get the job done, and Mazzaro gets a big out. Little pop up. Shallow right. Mark Ellis is there, and he's got it. Casey Chavez, the bullpen catcher, saying, Leave me alone. This one looks to be playable. Encarnacion fighting the sun, and he's got it near the coach's box. Davis, a line drive down the left field line. Rajay racing around first. He'll try for two, and he will make it. A double for Rajay Davis. Hit hard right field. That's a base hit. Rios charges. He's got a good arm. The throw to the plate. Up the line. RBI single for Kurt Suzuki. And Rajay continues. It'll pop up, but Hill is going to reach up and make the catch. Bounces this one to Lyle Overbay. Reaches down and grabs it. Steps on the bag. Side retired. Single run for the Athletics on Kurt Suzuki's RBI single. There's a line drive off of Bobby Crosby's glove and it rolls down the right field line. So Adam Lind is going to be at second leading off the fourth inning. In this game he now is 35 on the year. Over Bay. Crosby gets more action. He takes care of this one. Fires to Mazzaro. So one out runner on third and let's hear a little bit more from tell for sure what it was big strikeout for Mazzaro's Wells waves at a pitch in Boston where the fish capital of the world yeah Crosby comes down the line he's in fair territory he's got it so Ben Mazzaro walked one and struck out one so far and that one got a piece of Tommy Everage on an 0 2 pitch he knew we were doing that promo he immediately came down to the radio booth John McDonald on the turn. Crosby's going to be safe at first base. Grounded to short. McDonald has it to Hill. And this time the Blue Jays will turn the double play. Their second double play. And Mazzaro has been able to put up zeros in the third inning and the fourth inning. He gets the first out here in the fifth. That one sit well, and that baby's gone. Everybody knew it on the crack of the bat. Barajas, 10th home run of the year. Scott Airston never moved in left field. So 7-2, Blue Jays. On a fastball, same pitch that Hill hit. And I think Barajas knew it as well. Crushed a fastball and half swing by McDonald hits it to Crosby. Bobby will take care of that. Barajas scores a two run home run by Aaron Hill. Mm. Strike three called. Batista thought it was inside, but it's the strikeout. Side retired. Pennington line drive center field base hit. Good swing by Cliff Pennington, lining it right back up the middle. Swing and a miss by Kennedy on 3 2, one after a high fastball. 
dribbler right side over Bay quickly to Romero who did a nice job covering the back. Romero got the fastball in on the hands of Suzuki and that will do it. He's going to lead off hit from Cliff Pennington. Nothing else. We're headed to the sixth inning. Of course with the Yankees and that ball he's a little bit too close to Reggie. He didn't like it. Had a little confrontation on the mound. I remember jumping the fence at County Stadium and whoever was signed. That's a great yeah. contract. But that's how much George Steinbrenner respected him and admired him as a player and as a person. Made him the captain. And Center field, but room for Rajay Davis. And that will do it. Russ Springer, a three up, three down inning. Bottom of the six coming up. Work to do for the A's. They trail seven to two. 1 0 to Scott Hairston, and he bounces it right back to Romero. Romero got that fastball in a little bit. Swing and a miss on 3 2. So a pop out to second, and then he was hit by a pitch. That was in the fourth inning. Down the right field line, and that is fair. Tommy Everidge digging for second, and the ball is kicked around by Rios, and he goes down to pick it up, but he can't get a grip on it, and Everidge ends up at third. So we'll see what the ruling is. Got him with a fastball. Up and out of the strike zone. Vernon Wells is 0 for 2. And a hanging curveball, and Wells knocks it into left center field for a base hit. Toward left field where Scott Hairston grabs it, and that's the first down. Dustin McGowan may be back late in the year. Wells takes off and a foul tip, strike three on Encarnacion. And the stolen base for Wells. Rod Barajas, it's a fly ball to shallow right where Jack Cuss comes in. He's under it and he makes the catch. Seventh inning stretch from the Coliseum. Drive to center, but Wells get a good jump and he'll get there. And that's the first down. Swings at the first pitch and hits one to right. Routine for Rios. Two out. Payoff pitch, and that one's ripped down the right field line. Adam Kennedy around first. He will ease in the second with a two out double. Big curveball and Davis swings and misses. Five strikeouts for Ricky Romero this afternoon. Rajay Davis over toward left center field. Mark Ellis on one hop. And that's the second out. Right on the outside corner. Good pitch by Edgar Gonzalez, and he has a three up, three down inning. Bottom of the eighth. Suzuki, Hairston, and Cust. One rolled past the mound to Aaron Hill. And out. This time he does. So Renicki stayed with that breaking pitch, and he got Hairston to go. So Scott Hairston. High with the 3 2 pitch, and Jack Cust has his second walk. Check swing, and he went around. So, 3 2 pitch outside, and it's a leadoff walk. And he had a pitch to hit, he popped it up. Suzuki, and he's got it for the first down. Yeah, he's an intimidating guy. Will try to turn the double play, and they will. Six, four, three, side retired. Work to do in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's seven to two. James got him with a pitch right on the outside corner. Crosby swings and misses, so that's the first down. And Mark pops it up right side. The first baseman Lyle Overbay grabs it, and just like that, two outs. Ground ball, one hop toward the second baseman. Hill has it, and that's the ball game. So the series goes to the Toronto Blue Jays as they win this afternoon by a final score of 7-2 to two to take the series. It was a five-run first inning, and that put the A's in the big hole, and they 